Hi, this is Heidi Caswell here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we've been going over the Weaver 2 theme. Uh, this is Weaver 1 here. Weaver 2 theme and the changes that you can make to it. And let's go ahead and move on over. This is the site we're working on. And I, what we're going to work on is changing the header. And here you can see, uh, you can have the header can be, you can change the colors here. These work like it did before. And pixels are like measurements. Uh, little dots, how many dots and things, and instead of inches, you measure these things in pixels. And if you want more, you'd add more, and if you want less, you'd add less. Um, this is the site title, and this is the site title description. Site title, title description. And right now I have it set to move the title over the header image. Sometimes you might have a design that you're doing where you want the uh, graphic site to um, not show up at all. That's what I did on this one here because I already had the words in the logo. So I did not need it there. And then you just go ahead and click the hide the hide the image. Um, if I leave both of these unchecked, then it goes back to um, go ahead and refresh this page. Where it's up above and maybe your words just don't look well with the picture. I like to have it moved down because it uh, frees up more space so you have more of the site itself showing so when people go to your site they're not just all seeing that first part but they're getting an idea of the content on the page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to want to change the colors here on this uh, site and words. I think this one I'm going to have just a really dark uh, blue. I'm going to use a little tool I have called the color picker to help me. Okay, I used the color picker and I picked on one of those. Uh, let's see what the color will be. And you can hear the rain in the background. It is really raining outside. And I'm going to go ahead and save it. Okay, we have the dark navy up here. And we're going to try this to be a little bit lighter. What you want is you want contrast between the colors that you pick and use and your image because you want them to show up. And sometimes it may be a dark one, some may, it might be a really light text, but it's something so it contrasts so it shows up. If you can't get it to contrast and show up, then you want to go ahead and put it up above this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and change it to the color. What I want is I want like this, the lighter version of it. I'm going to copy it down here. Paste it in. Now what I'm going to do is see over here, here, well, CSS, on this color chart, you need to slide up it and it will be lighter. Let's see how that looks. And here you go, and the colors can change. I'm not sure if that's exactly the color I want to use. I may change it some more. Okay, that looks a little better, more like what I want there. Uh, we're going to go back and change this color too. It will look better once this color has been changed. And as I change images and things, I might go back and tweak and change these things. Anyway, we're gonna, just going to get it set up for now. And as you can see, if you've got a header that you really, really want to use and it's not that size, you want it to be taller or skinnier, you can change the height here. Then you go back in over here and upload it. But change the height here first if you wanted a different height. Otherwise, it's going to go ahead and automatically crop it to the 188. So you want to change this here and then put it there. Now, there's different things you can do. You can hide your header image. Um, you can have your header image linked to the site, which I like to do. Uh, you have uh, a header widget area that you can put up in there. And it will be in the widgets. And this lets you go ahead and do some things to the header widgets. And um, let me show you a little bit on those. The easiest way to show you is on things. If you want to know how to do them, there's directions. You just click and go there. You see there's the different header widgets. It's, it's good to have your image and then you have other things that show up beside it. And that way you can get some things up to the top if you want. Anyway, these are some things with headers. Check on the question marks. Get a lot of your questions answered. It's very well documented. And it'll take you right over to the documentation. Uh, have fun with this. Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers.